Well, guys, you saw it right. I was filling the water up on that. That is the DS3600 tile saw. Just came in. We're getting ready to lay some tile, backsplash, whatever you want to call this, around the tub. This had that old plasticky stuff. It had been up through, uh, I, I don't know how old it was. It was here when I bought the house and uh, I've owned the house now a couple of years, two and a half years. So it was up before that. It was kind of looking a little bad as far as the caulking around the tub. Just want to, you know, tile just gives a little dressed up look to any bathroom or kitchen, whatever you put it in. <clears throat> so I've got a lot of tiling to do. What interested me in this saw was all the reviews says it has the best water containment system of any tile saw that you can saw, tile, uh, saw in the house and you're not going to get any water on the walls, uh, on the floor, you know, just a bare minimum. And this thing holds at least five gallons. You saw me putting water and I'd say you can put it up to this rail right here, but you have two adjustments on your tray. This is for cutting like standard tile. And then this one is for cutting like if you're gonna cut those 36 inch long tiles because I think this will cut up to 37 or so inches. And see this tray will come all the way back like this to lay one of those long tiles on. You've got a tray system over here You've got this tray system here, and uh, I don't even have the other piece on it. There's the other piece there. Now we've got the other tray on it. So this is the saw. Uh, it does miter. And then you've got uh, your tilts on it where you can cut up to, uh, I think, 45 degrees. Yeah, 45 degrees there. Uh, it's not even been turned on yet. As you can see, it'll make it rain. So underneath this there is a containment system here to catch the water to run it in the tray we're going to be using it on the number two setting and then this is for you to bring your tray you know off to take it off for transport when we uh jeff helped me bring this over here because it's a commitment to bring it to take it somewhere because it is heavy it's around 90 pounds You've got an arrow when you take this completely off to line up with this track system here. Very easy. It's not hard to put together. Uh, as you see, it's just a massive amount of water. There's your plug right there. This motor comes off here. When you get ready to transport, all these trays come off. Everybody raved about how efficient this saw, this saw is about containing its water, not getting it on the floor. And I've got several bathrooms to um, to tile and they're in and upstairs. So that was very important to me that I could contain that water. It also even has this when you're cutting really wide tiles, you know, 25 inches wide or so, it slides into here. And then there's a, a threaded screw that's underneath right there that you screw in to tighten it down. So this is somewhat of a saw. Hoping this saw will be with me for a long time. But we're gonna use it some. Then when I get done with this project, I'll do a breakdown of taking it apart because uh, it is a little intimidating or overwhelming when you first get the saw in. If you've never put one of these together, uh, getting it put together, there's not any parts that you got to screw together or anything like that other than bolting the motor down once you set it up there. But this motor is so heavy and so balanced, you set it up there, it's not moving. You just, you know, you want to bolt it down so it don't move when you're cutting tile. It does come with the wrench for that. 
It has a wrench storage here to change the blade. So I'm anxious to cut some tile with it and see just how well it does. I've got this tarp down, so we're gonna be able to see if it loses any water. In which everybody said, you know, there, there's some drops from it. You've gotta be careful when you take your tile off of it to dry it off over the water and not bring it out, you know, over the floor. So we're gonna to try to be careful and just see how well this saw does contain the water and then how well it cuts. Right here's where you undo this to get to your blade, to change your blade system. Here is your water squirter. There's, there's one on each side. You adjust that right here. And it really puts the water out. Man, it, it was pumping the water out. So we'll, we'll get this you know, put down and get it tightened up. I've got to get started in there laying tile and then when we have to cut some, then you're going to see me cut some. So I'm looking forward to it. We'll see how it, uh, how it pans out. Tray lock. I would say that's probably to put the pump under in transport. I don't know that for a fact. Here's where you plug that in. Then you've got a breaker, a GFI on it here. It's a, it's a massive saw. All of these trays fit down into that tray for transport. putting the water out which is good on keeping that blade cool but boy it was like the mist from it was blowing out you can see where it was misting right there but I don't see any on the floor but if you was close to a wall you know over here it would really get that wall down for me move you then so you can see that, that water vapor coming off of it there so I could see where if you were up close to that wall you get that wall down I mean it's putting it out I tried turning that little valve over here it doesn't do anything it doesn't slow it down or, or anything so I guess there's not really an adjustment that I've come across yet to regulate how much water comes out of it Boy, is it putting it out. I believe that's the smoothest cut I've ever had on the top, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I guess it turns to me RPMs or something, but boy, it's. It cuts a smooth, smooth cut. Boy, 
that saw, it is smooth. Well guys, I had an appointment to go to today, so I had to cut out a little early, but I'm back to finish this video. I really like the tile saw. Best cutting saw that I've ever had. And also, we looked around the floor and there wasn't any water. Now, you might see a little water right here, but I spilt that when I was kind of cleaning this thing off a little bit. But the saw is very good about containing everything. You can see the way that's on there. And then you go directly behind to this white fireplace and there's nothing. So it caught it. Um, I, don't, I don't really, I can't tell that there's any on the floor. So this is one of the best tile, tile saws I've ever used right here. Um, I'll have more videos on it because we got a lot of tile cutting to do. I've got a lot of tile to lay. When I break this down to clean it, I'll make a video of breaking it down. I'll show you how to break it down, how to put it together. But, you know, I have several videos ago, I made a video about the DeWalt, uh, the pressure washer, you know, the, the battery one they have. And I tried washing my side by side with it and it failed. Uh, washing a truck with it, 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 it's okay. I did a little bit of washing, you know, it's kind of, it's not for that side by side when it's been out and muddy, but you know, it's kind of like this, it's uh, so-so, but I think this might, it might be a job right here that it can handle. I believe the cleanup on this, it might be perfect for this. So we're gonna give that a try when I break this down to clean it up. Guys, I hope you have a, a great day or a great evening. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Hope everything goes good for you. I'll see you on another video. And I hadn't said this to you in a long time, but remember, God loves you. Jesus died for you. I enjoy being with you and making videos or I wouldn't mess with this at all. Y'all be blessed.